Okay, first tip we're going to do here is securing a dubbing loop. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to put a little bit of fur. Just J. I said a little bit of fur in a dubbing loop. I'm going to spin it up. And this is a process we use in a lot of our flies. And if I have my dubbing brush handy, I'll use my dubbing brush, but otherwise I can just use my fingernail here. I wind this on. Remember what I'm coming to is how to tie this off. Now one method is to simply put your thread over it a couple times. But what I'm going to do here Here's my dubbing loop. I'm going to spin my bobbin around that three or four times. And then I bring my main thread up over that. And what that does, it just gives you a more secure connection. So that's the end of that tip. Now the next thing I'd like to do is show you um, use of lead wire. Very often people will use their scissors to cut lead wire, and that's fine. But what I like to show you is that for most of the lead wires we use, uh, you really don't need to use your scissors. Because you can wrap on your lead wire and just pull it right off. And what that does is actually gives you a more tapered break, because when, you, when that breaks it kind of extends the lead. Try that again. Snap off the front part and then I'm going to hold that firm and snap off the back part. Now, if you do cut the lead wire, I'm going to show you something here with copper wire. Something, and this is uh, more important with your wires than it is with your lead. We have good fly tying scissors here. And we want to make sure that they last as long as they can. Please don't cut that copper wire with the tip of your feathers. Use the back part. And it doesn't have to be cut absolutely flush because you can bend that down and wrap over it. So remember, protect your scissors with wire. Don't cut at the tips. Cut further back. That'll, that'll preserve the life of your scissors. Oh, I've watched folks. Um, you finish off a fly. And if you don't use a whip finish tool, if you learn to use a hand thrown whip finish, some threads you can pinch that loop and pull it tight and the thread will just slide right through there. Some threads, however, will bunch and knot up and you wind up with a tangle. So I watched Carl do a nice video and Carl uses this technique. He will put his scissors in that loop and then slide it tight and just slip them out. And what that does is help prevent uh, the knotting or bunching or fouling of this loop. Again, and you make sure your scissors have a smooth enough edge. If they don't, you can use a diamond hone to, to smooth the edge. And you just slide that right up and then it closes off. The final tip I'd like to share is when you're tying stinger hooks, uh, either on uh, shanks or on waddingtons, uh, this is uh, plastic coated uh, wire, uh, either Cortland Toothy Critter wire or Rio Knottable Bite wire. I like to cut my sections of material in advance. Uh, that saves you having to pull a piece off for every fly. You figure out about the length you need, uh, you cut them, and then you have these uh, sections of wire laid out on your table. 
and you're ready to go. And that just in, improves the efficiency with which you can tie these flies. That's it for now.